rushing to this rat call that our customer's been dealing with for almost a year, if not more. And my brother Jim's gonna meet me there, but I wanna get there first to try to solve it. Cause the last video he did, he actually broke a record and found the entry point in 22 minutes. So I'm about to beat that record guys. So let's get started. Okay, so let's go ahead and meet our customer. Where where was most of the activity? Above the kitchen area at, when it first started? I would think so, yeah. So right up in this area above the Perfect. kitchen is where you first originally heard the, the noise? Correct. Okay, and it's always been up in the attic? Yes. Okay. It recently just got trapped. Okay, so let's take a look up here in the attic. Got some cameras up here, which is fantastic. Oh, look at this. We got one on a stick, got one on a sticky pad. So this is a juvenile. The thing with juveniles, when you have them in your attic area, this is a good sign that you possibly have an infestation. There's gonna be more in this attic area here, but we just got here, so let's do a little bit more digging. Yeah, got them good. So as I'm looking down this runway right here in the attic, you can see that there's some nesting material closer to that kitchen there. So let's get up on the roof and do our inspection. So my brother Jimmy is on his way, but because we're twins, very, very competitive. So I'm trying to figure this out before he gets here so I can break his record. Wow, check this out. So this is above the kitchen area. I don't know if you guys can see my camera. This is squirrel droppings there. You could take a look at the major exclusion work that the other companies have done, which is actually really, really good. The only thing I want to add to this, again, is Flex Seal to just coat this because, again, with the sun, it's going to rot that out. Enrique, so we uh, we keep this real. I need you to face that way without looking at him, please. Lightly tap or just point to the one that smells, if any. Enrique, no peeking, okay? I'm watching you. Okay, Victor, no indication yet. Okay, Enrique, thank you for not peeking. I want to keep this very, very real here. No? Sewer, sewer. Sewer? Sewer. Sewer? Yeah. Yeah. What? Rodents, definitely in that one. They're sure? Yes. Okay, Victor. That's why the sniff test is super important, you guys. We got two that smell that kitchen area. You got nesting material, so it all points to the kitchen stack here, the vent pipe or the drain pipe. So if you're a rodent company and you've been dealing with rodent for more than two weeks on a house, three weeks, see this big nose? Listen, big nose. Take that nose, put it into those vent pipes. Major, major, major help right there in identifying where these rats are getting in. All right, well, you know the drill. So what we're gonna do now is uh, wait for the rest of the team, get our smoke machine, get all that ready. We're gonna crawl, we're gonna, we're gonna rip this place apart to figure out how in the hell these rats are getting in. All right, so here's the crawl space. So let's get down and dirty and figure out uh, if there's anything that indicates any type of runways here. Good thing I check there's some rat traps right here a dead one right here and you just try to squeak oh. Oh. do see some old rodent droppings there's no way to get to the kitchen here Armin, I've done a complete inspection. All the exclusion work sealed up perfectly. The only thing I would add is that we waterproof or add a protection to the metal because you do have a lot of it exposed to the elements like the sun, but all of that is sealed up. I'm looking, crawl this side of the house. We're still crawling this side. It appears to be completely sealed up. So more than likely with what you've been dealing with and seeing that juvenile that was caught last night, there's gotta be a nest and it does indicate that you have sewer rats, the Norway rat. Mm -hmm. So we've got to now focus on your entire sewer system to figure out where that breach is or if there is a breach. What we're gonna start off with is our, is our smoke test. Okay. okay. We've got uh, Raul right here, master plumber. He's gonna go underneath there and clean up that debris that we saw earlier. Okay, so we've got the smoke machine all hooked up and the time starts now. We got the smoke, let's hurry. Of course, the top of this here is broken, so I'm dealing with some lost time here and Jimmy rigging this. We're smoking. Do a little rat dance here. Actually, 
No time for rat deaths. Let's get to it. It's go time. Look at that smoke. Bam. Right down the path of this runway here where we caught the rat, which is right here. Straight down. Uh, getting heavy smoke now. Look at that. So the smoke's coming from this direction into the attic. We don't really have a lot of access to crawl through there. So we're gonna put up our dust barriers right here and open up that ceiling there. Okay, so Armin is making the decision for us to go up on the roof and open up to access here because he's gonna end up replacing the roof. So it's not typically what we do, but I can completely understand his point of view. So we're gonna go ahead and get up on the roof and open up as much as we need to to get to that pipe. There you go. Come on. Let's see. Ooh, look at those rat droppings. Oh, look at that. Here we go. Another blade. Here we go. Yeah, another blade. Oh, oh yeah. Huh? Yeah, look at that. Guys, it's literally 16 minutes right now to this point right here. And check it out. Bam, look at that. Major chew mark. Look at that. Chewed here. Shoot here. Look at that smoke. Oh my God. 17 minutes. I think that's the world record. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Yes. It's unbelievable. Look at the aggressive chewing. Look at this. They just destroyed this vent pipe. Look at that. You know what? It's actually a good thing that Armin said open up the roof. I think we might be able to do the repairs from above. There is a little parapet wall up here, but uh, let's go ahead and uh, give Armin an update here. Hey Dave, yeah. the plane just pulled up. Jim's here? Yes. Oh yeah, here he is. Hey! What's up? Guess what? What? I just broke your record. 18, we'll call it 18 minutes. That found it, hard. yeah. You already found it? Found it. So you don't need me? Yeah, I actually go home. No, I'm just kidding, get up here, get up here. I get, you gotta check this out. What's up guys? Check this out. You already found it? Oh! Oh my gosh. Yeah. A lot of chewing on the outside and a massive hole in the wall. So it's interesting if they're coming from another spot and just coming here and chewing or are they coming from the sewer pipe? Because typically we don't see inch and a half pipes where the rats are coming through. So this is quite interesting here. Is there a lot of droppings in there? Oh, tons of droppings. He beat my record. <coughs> yep, not good. Okay, challenge on for the next one. I gotta beat 18 minutes. Now the challenging part is how are we gonna get to that? How are we gonna fix it without opening up that ceiling, without opening up the cabinetry? Got a lot of cleanup to do too. Let's show Armin what, what our findings are and then we'll go ahead and move forward with the next phase of this project here. Armin, you want, I don't wanna take this inside, but this is what we found. Okay. So remember the, I was getting a bunch of smoke in the attic area? Yes. This here was like this and that right behind the kitchen cabinet is where this goes. Okay. So what's a little bit sort of interesting here is you have a lot of chew marks on the outside. So it's hard to determine if they are coming from this particular vent stack. Or they were trying to get into Or the they were stack. chewing from the outside because they need to chew. Oh, I mean, this is a ton of chew marks. Okay, so we went ahead and got the approval from uh, Armin to open up the stucco to access this pipe. Uh, Jimmy and I were just discussing here. Not nuts. discussing, we were arguing the fact that they think Discuss, we're that not the, arguing. well, not arguing, okay. All right, Dave well, wants arguing. To, okay, yeah. arguing, fine. I think, and this is another challenge here in this video, guys. See that, mocking me, guys? I mean, how rude. Stop mocking me! He's the evil twin, right? Anyhow, let's get to, let's get to business here. I think that the two inch pipe, there's a connection right here. So I think that there's a breach further down the wall. They just happen to go up that pathway into the attic and then chewing that inch and a half vent from the outside in. That's my assumption. I, and, and I think that's a good assumption. I really think though that they just utilize that inch and a half, chewed their way through, mm. got into that attic area, and then they're just chewing away because they need to get those Anyone? teeth there. So anyways, leave in your comments if you think David's right with just one opening, which I found in 18 minutes broke his record. Or do you think Jimmy has a good point where they there's another breach? Jim for the win. Oh. 
Norman is so cool. He's giving us little chocolates. These are probably one of the best chocolates I've ever had. Milk chocolates from Costco. Got some bubbly carbonated water, which is refreshing in this hot. And then we're having the minis con chamo. Está muy, 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 Está muy bueno. As you can see, the reason why we use that chipping hammer is imagine a hammer busting that out causes spiders cracks. Not only that, it uh, disrupts the, the drywall inside as well. So it's a great way to open up stucco. It's just chip away, weakens the structural integrity of that concrete. And now the question is, is the pipe gonna be there? So Dave, uh, how are we looking? How are we looking? I'm not sweating it, you know? Okay. So what are we gonna do? Tell the audience what we're gonna be doing. Well, I think, I think. We'll cut it right here. Cut this section out yep. so we can isolate the smoke from here down, down. to yep. verify my win. If you're right or not. Right, got it. Ooh, you know what, Jimmy? I don't see any runways in there. <laughs> I don't see any runways in here. <laughs> Boy, this wall really smells. It smells sour like funky. Kind of smells like Dave, guys. I am a bit nervous. I think he might be honest. Okay, so now we're just waiting, guys, to see if we get any smoke coming from the from the wall cavity up. Oh, look it, we're getting smoke. So we ran our sewer camera through the vent here, and our camera stopped right here, so we're gonna make an incision here. Because we introduced the smoke here, and the smoke, what it was doing is just going right into the main. All right, so we're tracing, as you can see, major nesting material right here. Look at that. Look at that, you guys. See the secretion marks on the drywall as well. And then look at over here. They chewed on the outside. Oh, yeah. So now we're gonna have to go further and see what's going on, because this looks suspicious right here. All right, so Dave's gonna use the bulk glue here, which I'm not a big fan of, but that's what Dave wants to do. He's the older twin, so I gotta listen to my big brother. Look at how that just goes right. Kind of blends in with the drywall. See, if there's juveniles, this stuff works great. And the only reason I'm putting it here is because this is a hot spot where they were coming and going. So my theory is they're gonna come in here to try to get back to this this hole right here, Cover. which we've covered up. That way we can isolate them if they're in the wall. Ah, oh, there we go. Look at that, that's beautiful. Don't try this at home, but um, he looks like Popeye. So Armin had this trap underneath his crawl space, so I went ahead and used a little bit of Nature's Valley. Sweet and salty nut. Let's see if uh, this catches more rats than Dave's. Bulky. Look at this. Mm. I did bait it right here in the middle. So I'm gonna set this like this, guys, and then see these two screws here? Because it's a drywall, we only wanna just do a little bit so we don't penetrate through Armin's ceiling. Yes. Well, leave in the comments, guys. Are they gonna hit the glue or? or Jim's Nature Valley. All right, we're gonna go ahead and cover the hole. Some plywood there. There we go. Let's see. Solid. Well, guys, that was a big, big find. If those pest control companies would have watched our videos, we gave them a clue that they could have absolutely done on this job, and it would have literally, instead of a year, they probably could have resolved this much, much sooner. Absolutely. So this is a big, big takeaway. Again, if you're not getting rid of those rats within a couple of weeks, two and a half weeks, more than likely it's sewer rats, guys. So smell those sewer vents to give you an indication. If you do, it's yep. a great little tip. Hey, guys, leave your comments down below. I'd love to hear what you'd have to say about this. Hold on. What about the rat dance? The real rat dance. Oh. What do you guys think? Here we go. You're okay. right. Let's You're do right. the rat dance. I have to because I'm the one that found it. Broke the record. I'm excited. So I got the energy to do it. I agree. Do it. I agree. Let's okay. do it. And one, two, three. Hit that subscribe button and we'll see you on the next one.